oh, here's the thing. I had a nightmare. I had a nightmare. It was so horrible. In fact, it was so horrible. Uh, the reason mostly is because there was a horrible hippo in my nightmare. A horrible hippo. Yeah. What does that look like? Well, we're going to find out in today's episode. We're going to be exploring what a horrible hippo looks like. So, you know the drill. You know the drill. Grab something to draw and something to color with. And let's draw a absolutely horrible hippo. Like that. Yeah. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're drawing a horrible hippopotamus. Here we go. Over towards the left, we're gonna draw the big snout. So we're gonna draw a curving line. Dip it down and then bigger on the right side. And we're gonna make it look like this side's closer than this side. This side's farther away, this side's closer. And that's called foreshortening. All right, we're gonna draw this, the nostrils. So draw one big circle and one small circle. Two big teeth, this one much bigger the mouth and then we'll draw over here along the bottom a curving line that goes around over curve it back in and then connect like that so it looks like it's inside of the mouth there draw a lip along the bottom and then you can draw two teeth Two more rectangles. If you want to stick a tongue in it, you can add a tongue. So I'm just going to stick it in behind here. Like that. And if you want to make it a little bit more apparent, or you can see it easier, you can add some hatching lines on the bottom of it. And I'm going to make this horrible. So add some weird, creepy lines or zigzag lines on those teeth. So it looks like it has a bad. And then we're going to color in the dark of the mouth, leaving the teeth and the tongue white. So we're gonna draw a line down. And then we're gonna draw one big eye and then one smaller eye farther away. In each eye, we're gonna draw one big circle. And then we're gonna draw zigzag lines from that pupil out to the edge. In the pupil, we're gonna draw a smaller circle and then color in the dark of the pupil only leaving the rest white. Okay, around the mouth we draw some expressive lines. Above the right eye, we draw a curvy line. And above the left line, a smaller curving line. Anytime you need me to hit pause, just hit pause. Or if you need me to pause, hit pause and then hit play when you're ready to continue. Okay, bring it back in on either side, and then draw a line down the middle for a hippo ear. And you're gonna connect it with a big curve, and bring it down from that ear, and stop, and then over to the mouth, and stop. And connect. Okay, we'll draw the back, so we'll draw a nice big curving line. Boop. Way over in the back, we'll just draw a little tiny tail way far away 
lines were super close to the mouth and this is much farther away. Okay, big leg in the front here. And then we'll draw some like rolls and folds on it. So we'll draw some curvy lines and connect them there. Like the folds on its belly. And then we'll draw one leg here. Another square. It's horrible, don't worry guys. Okay, and we'll draw two smaller, more smaller squares for the legs in the back. And then you gotta add some wrinkles. Maybe some like battle scars, because it's so horrible. It's like, ah, I was fighting everybody, now I got battle scars, because I wasn't being nice. It's my fault. Ah, I'm a horrible hippo. Okay, you can add some little toesies on there. Oh yeah, what else could a horrible hippo have? Maybe there's some like drool? Yeah, let's add some drool. Uh, add some like super wavy lines. Uh, drool's like dripping off its face. Uh, puddling all over the ground. Uh, I'm a horrible hippo. Look at me with my drool puddles. See, and that's how you make art. You just make something up and then you just go with it. There you go. All right, once you're done drawing, you're horrible, horrible. Go ahead and grab your favorite colors and color it in. Yeah.
And once you're done coloring in your horrible hippo, your horrible hippo is done.